I dropped the link in the chat. I didn't really get a chance to update it to sign yourself in. Um, so today is February 8th, uh, or today's general community meeting. Um, go ahead and sign in and uh, just some things that we kind of are looking at from the last uh, outreach and architecture uh, meetings is we're trying to, to uh, come up with a way to do co-coding events. Um, and I wouldn't, kinda, I, I wouldn't necessarily call them like a mini hackathon, but they're gonna be you know, extended uh, meetings, maybe an hour and a half to two hours where we'll focus on uh, a set of issues that we need to, to get addressed. Um, yeah, they're hacka hours. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> I'm going to be working with Sergio to figure out how to get everything um, organized and get um, get a plan in place for like getting on the calendar. Yeah, One of and so Simon, you're going to have to pick up that the outreach side of that. So you probably want to be on those calls with Sergio and Steve. Yes, absolutely. And and kind of the thought is that we'll probably use the um, extend out the time slots that we have for the architecture meeting um, on Thursdays uh, instead of it being uh, we'll just extend it out for a couple hours so folks can uh, join in on that. Um, but more to come on that. Uh, so just keep an eye out. Um, also on that same note, we're going to um, bump the architecture and outreach meetings a half hour later in the day um, that uh, we've had a bunch of folks like uh, Syme and Sergio uh, are running into uh, conflicts. Um, so we're going to bump that a half hour later. Uh, I already did. It should be on the calendar. Okay, cool. So everybody check your calendar and make sure that next Monday's meeting for outreach is at 8, would be 8.30 our time. So same time as this meeting, basically. Um, uh, the summer, Google Summer of Code, we're gonna sit this one out for this time. Um, we did uh, get a request from She Codes Africa, uh, and I did not look at that. What, did anybody, Simon and Tracy, did you look at the She Codes Africa? I did, and I also sent it to Sergio to see if he thought you guys oh, Sergio. Wanted, uh, wanted to do it, and he thought it was a great program. Um, he just didn't think we, if we were going to have time this year to have a mentor, because I know he, he thinks that Sasha's got his head into some other things. So it was uh, maybe we uh, go ahead and sponsor it, but we can't participate as mentors this year. Yeah, that sounds like a good plan. We got to get the, this release wrapped up and out the door and um, some other things that are happening that we need to uh we got some new ideas in the pipeline from the architecture side, and um, we're going to pull that uh, together. So um, that sounds Sasha, good. What, what, Sasha, what are your thoughts on that? Yeah, that sounds sounds good to me. Uh, okay. I, I mean, I really enjoy doing it, but um, at the moment, I've this, I'm having a, a bit of a tough time with this client. That's what. Um, it's not tough now. We've gone over that. We've gotten over the part where we um, uh, people are now involved in getting um, taking like they they're taking responsibility from there. But I'm just busy training a developer to take over the microservices which we've migrated. So I okay. could probably start doing a training video. I was thinking of doing a training video to teach people how to take a Java Spring Boot application and make it into a microservice. Yeah. Yeah, I think that no, I, I think you probably, your hands are full though right now to take on a yeah, couple it's pretty of hectic, yeah. yeah. Just been a bit hectic, yeah. Oh, but no, I'd love to, but yeah, it's just unfortunately not good timing at the moment. Yeah. Do we have anybody else in that part of the in the in that time zone that we can uh, that potentially might be able to help? I can't think I of know, any I can't really think of I think people maybe uh, any people I can think of are kind of in line with sort of South Africa, Africa, I don't know, maybe people in Europe, maybe people yeah, in they're, India, they're, Pakistan. Yeah, because um, I know yeah. there's a couple new folks coming out of 
Sweden and Germany um, that may be able to help or may be able to do it, but I don't know um, their um, what we can do, you know, their, their um, time commitment and stuff like that. So mm -hmm. I think, I think right now, um, like Tracy said, I think we should sponsor, but not mentor. Mm -hmm. um, and then as we get things kind of worked around on our side that we can go ahead and um, do it again. Cause I think they, I, I don't know their, their cadence, if they do. Um, I know the last time it was like three months uh, was the cadence for the two students. Um, and if we can pick up uh, with them in another, you know, six months or something like that, So what yeah, I can do, what I'll, what, I, yeah. what I'll do is I'll send an email out to the general group um, and see if there's anybody who would be interested in picking up that uh, mentorship this time. And then if not, I'll um, let her know that we're going to send her the 500 bucks, but we can't support, uh, we don't have the bandwidth to support a, a mentee. Perfect. All right, and then I'm trying to think what else we got going on. Uh, we have our um, next week is our our first podcast for the year. Brian's going to be interviewed on trends and DevOps. Sasha and Syme are the hosts. We have uh, I've scheduled it to be broadcast. We're going to record it, of course, on uh, Zoom, and then I'll post it up to pod the, the audio file up to to a buzzsprout but we are going to um uh, we are going to hold it on twitch as well so if anybody wants to watch it, it'll be on twitch i think of something intelligent to ask Ryan. <laughs> and i'm hoping that uh and sign you have we have somebody who's supposed to be helping you matt baca i hope he's reached out to you Yes, absolutely. He sent me a message on LinkedIn, and after that, uh, is not. I, I sent him an email so he can respond to me anytime. But haven't seen any email from him. Like I think you have to ping him again about the things. Or if you want to, uh, his his email is just Matt at Deploy Hub. Yes, if you want to reach, I will. Yes, I, would, I will try to touch. Yeah, because then then you can touch base with uh, him about. Uh, he should be the person. Uh, managing the, the Twitch for the, the podcast. So be sure you touch base with them before. You might want to do a test or something with them. Absolutely. We need testing uh, for how the things come up. So I think I will try to, you just send me the email. So I will try to get, get send a, find that free, for free slot. So I will try to touch and test things up before hosting live. Yeah, and he, he can have fun. He can put like, you know, can put little names of everybody. He can put a chat on there if he wanted. Uh, and then we'll just, uh, but we will be hosting it on Zoom. Um, so I'll be able to get, take the audio file and then I'll upload it to uh, Buzzsprout. And then, we'll, and then we'll do the social networking around it. So, so, so we were doing this live on Twitch as well at the same time. Yeah, it's good. We yeah, yeah. It'll be yeah, a simulcast to Twitch and Zoom, and then you'll take the recorded asset and yeah. further promote that. Yeah, that then it'll go up to Buzzsprout. Yeah. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. And so did, we ever, did we ever figure out um, Twitter Live? Or yes, that, a lot of the folks are doing, I think, in the Periscope, they are doing live stream. Not many people, but I think the Twitter, when you, you see... There is Twitter spaces happening all the time rather than people going live there. I mm. don't know why people are going there. There, I think we can leverage the Twitter space in the future as well. I'm doing, I have scheduled, I have hosted two of them and it's been a wonderful experience. Uh, so I, will, I, I think we can utilize Twitter space as well. And then we do something with LinkedIn Live. I remember setting it up. Yes, absolutely. We have set it up. I think the uh, uh, search you have some search you have all the credits or the doing things live as well. So if the the person we I, I, we can utilize the LinkedIn live as well because I think we can grab more audience over there because a lot of the people uh, doing the LinkedIn live they grab more audience like the technical audience they are all are already available there. Right. 
I just don't remember how I know. I know Sergio had it all set up. I set it up for him and I know it was working. I just don't know how to do it. We'll have to find out if Sergio is going to be open that day. <laughs> I hate to per- rely so much on him for this stuff, but. Yeah. If we get multiple people being able to, to help out and do the producing side, it'll. it'll... Yes. You want to that, share I the knowledge. On the, <laughs> on, the, on the LinkedIn live, you have to actually check the. Uh, geographical equation as well like previously i have i will try to set up for myself doing some live st- linkedin live stream there but there are geographical dis- dis- restrictions there it won't be available on the asia side i have to check it again like if, is it available right now on the site might be me or sasha we can host this linkedin live as well well i will try to touch with brian as well like um, how we can able to uh, utilize this play- platform as well well, worst case, it sounds like we have a plan with just doing Zoom and Twitch. If we don't extend out into uh, any of the li- other live streams, I think we'll be fine because we're going to loop back around and social promote this anyways. So. Yeah. But I, according to my knowledge, I think most of the people going the live stream for the YouTube, 70, 80 percent of the issue, APAC region, they go to the YouTube for the live stream. Oh. Very rare people go to the Twitch. So I think in future we have to utilize YouTube live stream as well because a lot of the people is going on the YouTube. It's not in the Twitch. So I think we have really? to consider this in mile as well. Okay. That's good to know. So Sasha, you're gonna host the, the, the podcast next week. Um, well Siam uh, Siam's the Siam's the gonna master. be the interview. Si- oh, they sorry. Both the host master. They're the co host the host master. I'm like, okay. his, um, I'm like his wingman and Top Gun. You know, I'm good. <laughs> got it, got it, got it. <laughs> Just don't eject from the jet. Um, <laughs> is there uh, is there anything you guys recommend I do to prepare? Is it uh, or is coffee? It coffee. Okay. I can do that. <laughs> no, I, it, it's we're, we're trying to run the we're trying to run the uh, podcast as kind of relaxed as possible. But okay. uh, uh, Brian, if there's any, uh, I think we, uh, I think Matt put together a um, shared doc between the three of you. So if you have any questions that you might want to ask, have them ask you, um, that would be a good place to put it. And then Sasha and Simon can figure out who's going to ask the questions. Okay, let me but it should be on. conversational as possible. But if there's some, if there's things that you want to, to drive, how you want to drive it. I'm like, uh-huh. looking mm-hmm. at my shared docs and I don't think I have it. Let's short, short the other direction. Um, yeah, I do not. So do, if you, know, if you, if there is, if, <clears throat> so I have the, oh, here we go. Feb 16 podcast. Got it. Thank you. Yep. Yeah, so there, if you just want to put whatever you feel is uh, important yeah. okay. questions, you can just stick it right there. And then during the podcast, we'll work from this um, document. Got it. Okay. Right. All right. I'll work on that. I'll get, get questions in there, and I'll look forward to having that conversation with uh, Tom Cruise and his wingman. <laughs> and, and bring up Manchester. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, we try to keep it slanted with a kind of a cloud native um, uh, microservices focused as well. Even okay. we're talking about DevOps. Okay. Makes sense. Makes sense. And um, I have us on Buzzsprout connected to Spotify, but I'm thinking about unconnecting us. They're kind of pissing me off right now. Any thoughts? <laughs> well, well, we'll we'll follow. Uh, who is it? Neil Young. Yeah, I was going to say cue the Neil Young jokes. You right on time, Steve. But <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll follow along with Neil Young, and and even though we're not getting paid our hundred million dollars to be on Spotify. Uh, I know that they have a big outreach, but I'm not, I'm not, it's just annoying what they're doing right now. And the only, the only voice we have is with our, our pocketbook and our interaction. Right. But I will wait. We'll see what happens, but I'm thinking about unconnecting Spotify from our bus route account. They're just not cool. Uh, maybe we can. Does does Pandora have podcasts? Uh, yeah. Uh, 
we hooked it up to as much as we could. That was already done. Let's see. My Buzzsprout account. Let's see who we've got it connected to. So uh, Tracy's checking on that. Does anybody else have anything that they want to bring up? We got about eight minutes left here. Sasha, you owe me a home chart. A a lot of home charts. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of home charts. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Kirsch, I looked at. Um, let me share my screen real quick. I just happen to have it up. So this is the. Uh, some of the stuff that Ukarsh is working on our 3D uh, layout of history for an application version. So Ooh. he's been able to, to isolate this um, out of the demo library from uh, Ukarsh. Is, is this a, a VizJS or D3S? It's a VizJS. Okay, cool. Nice. So the, this is one style, and the other one I liked was, uh, I think this one, a little less cluttered, kind of gives the idea. But what we'll have is uh, these will be the deployments over time, and the height will be the number of versions in that uh, from the base version uh, in that, and then each row will be a component. So kind of building that out. Oh, and then, cool. and then the color is current, current health, current status. No, it's just um, the color in this one. They're just it's just some sample data. So each um, each row here, like this green row, and then this multicolor row here, will be. Um, so this will be uh, one component because in a, in a, in the logical view of an application, you have multiple. Uh, components that are part of it, and then you have multiple versions of of that component. So uh, each row here will be a, a component. So whether we have the shopping cart payment service, ad, you know, product right. management, whatever. Um, so those each row will be a, a component. And then this access here will be the number of deployments of the application. So this is this is kind of like a backwards representation. But um, so your first deployment it'll be low because you only have uh, one version of the component. And then the next time you deploy, maybe only two out of the 10 um, services change. So you'll see two rows here stack up to be too high and the rest will be still at the one level. And then as we go through time and keep on doing our deployments, um, the stacks will get higher. And what this will represent is like these here where we have components that have never changed since the very first deployment. Um, but then we have something like the this other row that is constantly changing. So it kind of gives you that, that visualization to see in a logical view of an application, um, which components are changing a lot and kind of gives you that visualization of, of understanding um, where your change is actually happening with your application. Okay, all right, all right. And then the, the height will be the number of, of revisions for, for that deployment for, compared to the base base version. So that's how we'll-, we'll So, so the, right, the Delta, that was, and I don't want to burn too much time. So if I looked between the where, what's marked as 20% and 0%, if one was, was version 1.0 at the 20%, at the 0%, it was version 1.10, the height is going to represent the 10 version difference between the two deployments. Is that right? Exactly. Exactly. Or the, you know, the 10th. Yep. I mean, yeah. That's how we'll, we'll, and like I said, this, this graph here is kind of um, backwards because as we go through time, we're, we're, we'll have the column slowly increase. Right. Right. It won't so, go down and up. You, it won't revert. It won't go back down. Uh, you may get an occasional one where you go back down, where they like roll back. Roll back, yeah. Right. But that's the concept that we're working on. So Ukarsh is working on this, uh, and uh, thank you for for getting this pulled out of the the sample uh, world and <laughs> working standalone because I know that can be the that's like the first major challenge is to get things. 
pulled out of the example libraries and, and now we'll be able to plop in our own um, data. And what will happen is on the back end, we'll uh, create a new Python fast API microservice to load up the data um, at that level. So we'll have the front end piece and then the back end piece. So uh, more, more microservices on, uh, on the horizon folks that will be writing for um, Ortelius. So keep, stay tuned for that, for some little projects. And um, just to give everybody the background of our microservices, um, they're written in Python under Fast API. Um, we finally chose that after a couple stumbles, um, but it gives us built-in swagger, um, gives us a bunch of stuff, uh, recovery uh, at the pod level. So if the container crashes, we have this whole simple retry logic and the whole program is like under 300 lines long. So that's what we're striving for these, is these small mini microservices uh, to keep bolting on to our monolith that we have that's all in Java. So Tracy, anything you find on your, your Buzzsprout? I can't figure out how to get rid of Spotify. I wonder why they're like, just take it down. You can't take it down. <laughs> all right. There's no way to easily take it down, but anyway. Um, we'll figure it out. Yeah. So Simon, we'll make sure that uh, Matt uh, loops back around with you and um, we get a test run uh, going in place. Absolutely. Tracy, can you sh sh share the email on the chat as well so I can, after the call, and I will try to ping in. Yep. Let me put it in right now. That's weird. Once you're there, you can't get, you can't get off. And, um, Sime, do you have a, um, a, like a calendar link to your calendar? now doesn't but i will try to find it like uh, i will be able to on wednesday or thursday i have one so i will share with you now. yeah there's let me give you the if for those of you that um that need to like let people kind of self-choose um let me get you the product so in the chat is what I, uh, Trace and I use. It's, it's one, once hubs schedule once, and um, you can sign up for a free account connected to your Google and you can pick and choose the, the time slots and how long uh, it just makes it an easy way. And you can send somebody a link if you want them to give them a 30 minute slot, you can send them, there's a link for a 30 minute slot versus a 15 minute slot, uh, those type of things. So, um, the, that's the one I, I like to use. I, we did use Calendry before, but I ran into problems with it syncing up with Google. Hmm. But, um, that's, that is another one to try. Sometimes it may work depending on, uh, what you got going on with your calendar. My calendar can get pretty crazy. All righty. Anything else? The only other thing was for the, uh, hack the our our hack hour um we were going to do a we were going to figure out what was the best time for everybody do we want to just pick out a time and i can just post it or how do you want to announce that i think what we're what the plan was that we're going to take the architecture meetings extend them out to an hour to an hour between an hour and two hours and for what period of time say march 1st through april 30th uh yeah. Okay. Is the hackathon limited to the existing community only, or, or are you promoting it to and opening it to a wider gonna, audience? I was going to promote it everywhere to say, to say this is a good way to get started. Okay. That was my thought. I haven't used Dev Post, but I don't know. Are you, I just stumbled across Dev Post. Are you familiar with that? No. All right. I'll shoot a link over. You might see if there's a fit there. It's just devpost.com, um, and it is a sort of public hackathon listing. They do some of the back-end coordination. And there is another one that I ran into, um, uh, if, if you folks don't mind running over for a few minutes. There's another one where um, we may just kick this down to the outreach committee, but um, where you would um, – 
tag certain issues with a Bitcoin value. And then if you close that issue, then you get the Bitcoin. It's just another way to kind of um, get folks interested and and get a little bit of money in their pocket. It wasn't huge. I think it was called Gitcoin was one of the companies that um, that I, I remember running into a trade show at one point. Yeah. But that may be something that we want to look at is, is assigning some value to some of the issues to, to get it taken care of. Yeah, that's interesting. That's... Let me see if Gitcoin's still out there. So, Tracy, that, that's, that's what the plan was for... Um, I will update, I will send everybody an email out saying between, um, well, let's just say, yeah, let's say give everybody plenty of time, March 1st and April 31st, we're going to do a 60 day hack, hack an hour <laughs> um, uh, and extend the uh, two ar- architecture meetings to an hour and a half. Does that work? Yep. So here's the other one. It's called, uh, it's, uh, I guess they call it bounties. So did you find it, Steve? I was yeah, I just to... dropped it in the oh, okay. uh, in the Dude, uh, yeah, it looks interesting. I, I I just remember talking to a guy, uh this was like three, four years ago, but I um it may be interesting to to look at. All right, everybody, thank you. And we will stay tuned. Um, I'm going to be working with uh, Sergio to get those issues cleaned up, hopefully, this week. And um, uh, Syme and Brian and Sasha, good luck on the podcast. Excellent. Thanks. I'm going to wear a pair of Sasha's glasses on the. On there the you go. As well. Right. He's burned. It would be amazing. Bye-bye. Later. Bye. Cheers. Cheers.